Now you're going to be over here shopping in a second. Uh, joining us from a curious shop is uh, Michelle Potter and Fiona Sant. Great to have you guys Good here. Good morning. It's a pleasure and, to be here. Thank and you, you know what? I, I, kn I know your shop. I know I've been by it, but I actually <laughs> haven't gone in. So now I'm excited to see what's yeah. on the inside. For people who don't know where you are, because you guys are like in this little hidden gem here, like right on York. Yes, we're at 159 York Street, so directly between uh, Cumberland and Dalhousie. Mm -hmm. And we've only been open for a couple of months, so it's it's no wonder you haven't been okay. in yet. It's yeah. no wonder. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it. So uh, for people who aren't familiar like I was, but I can see all the product, kind of what's the rundown of the store? Like what can people expect when they walk in? Well, we carry the works of local artisans. So mm -hmm. we represent people from the city or the, the region who make things by hand. There's clothing for men and women, accessories. We've got potters, jewelers, um, screen printers, Michelle, uh, soap makers. Oh yeah, we, we've got something for everybody yeah. there. Yeah. I, I think I noticed that in very different styles mm -hmm. too. So you can really, it's, uh, can I say eclectic? Is that Absolutely. a good way to describe yeah, it? Yeah, we have a lot of different yeah. artists that work with a lot of different mediums. Even within the jewelry category, we've got artists that work with ceramics. We've got artists that works with semi-precious stones, with fabric, with wood. Mm -hmm. with, yeah, we're it, really, there's a good mix there. Now, one thing, and, and it was funny because Kurt walked by and he goes, I know this. <laughs> I love these necklaces here and, and these almost like these atlases of places and, and, and areas. Yeah, so this is Indigo Designs and she's actually quite popular in the Ottawa area. She's been around for quite a while. And uh, so she uses old atlases to make all these amazing map pendants. So it could be a really personal gift for somebody you know. I think it's yeah. really, really neat. Yeah. Uh, and you were talking about that when you mentioned clothing. You said, uh, you know, most of us think women's clothing, but yes. you also have a lot of the accessories, everything for men yes. as well. Yes, yes. For example, Eliza also makes tie clips. And and we have the ties for men, but we have some clothing for men, accessories like the tubes, mm -hmm. and yeah, we, we want to cater to a wide audience. You know, we have toys for kids, and there's everything. Yes. How are you doing your shopping then to bring in all of these artists coming in? Well, it's it's different. I mean, that's part of the fun mm -hmm. of, of doing this is that we can shop for things for the shop all the time. Um, we have people send us emails who've heard about us, who send us photos of their work, and we decide through that. Uh, when we do craft shows, we're constantly scoping out the talent and going around and handing out our business cards and asking people if they want to be in our shop. Which is great for them when they've got someone that says, listen, we'd like to carry this. Now, speaking of shows, you are actually hosting one that's coming up. Yes, yes. yes. On the 9th of February, it's going to be at Knox Presbyterian Church on Elgin Street. It's mm -hmm. called For the Love of Winter. And uh, we're going to have makers and bakers and candlestick makers and uh, a tarot reader and our ever popular craft supply swap where so, uh, crafters and artists bring in any supplies that they might have at home that they can't use that they're sick of looking at they bring it in they drop it on the table and they can take yes, whatever yeah, they'd like yeah. all for free that's yeah, awesome so, I really yeah. appreciate that yeah Thank entrance you. is free and the first 25 people get a gift bag so we're hoping to encourage people you know they're out skating on the canal on the weekend it's uh, February 9th so Saturday February 9th yeah 11 o'clock I love I just I love the idea about the swapping because you think about how many extra materials have been used and are discarded and they can't use Absolutely. these pieces that other people have that too to be able to do it and one of the things I did notice is all of the displays are almost like old books uh, old kind of like passed on treasures too. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Well, I, um, I'm a jewelry maker myself and I work with recycled materials. So I'm always on the hunt for really neat, funky, interesting things I can use. And of course, on my hunt for fabrics, I come across old books oh. and, and old wacky ashtrays and stuff like that that we use. It's a whole lot of fun. It really is. And I can see that on the displays and really covering everything from the coasters to the jewelry like so many different kinds yeah. like I'm looking at all these bracelets here and I'm like there's not there's yeah. nothing near alike well, for we anything have, no we have this one that's made with belt and wood and leather and brass and old cutlery it, there's such a, <gasps> a vast oh my god that's what that is yeah it's repurposed uh, silver cutlery yeah that was yeah. a fork at one point absolutely <laughs> yeah very very cool okay curious shop uh, it's new in town wonderful opportunity especially for people who are looking for kind of something a little bit different than you'd find in the everyday stores and it's located on york between cumberland and dalhousie yes right. awesome. yeah.